So now in this video, we're going to look at the light dependent resistor. So in this video, I assume you're beginning in electronics and may not be completely familiar with resistors. Resistors limit current in a circuit. That's their main job. And that current may also set voltages somewhere. But ultimately, they limit current based on the voltage across them. So these two LEDs are in parallel. They're passing the, about the same amount of current because uh, that current's being set by the resistor and they're passing current independently. Half the current's going through one, half the other. They look to be about the same brightness. So the uh, LEDs, I got them from different sources and some of them got abused more than others. But when I move it to this resistor, you can see it gets quite a bit brighter. So I did a couple videos on this, I'll rush through quick, but this one is a one kilo ohm resistor. And so for each volt across it, you divide that by a thousand. So you get one thousandths of an amp, which is the same as one milliamp. So for each volt across a one kilo ohm resistor, you get one milliamp of current. And this LED is gonna block about two volts. This is a five volt power supply. That will prevent about two of that five volts from getting to the resistor. We have about three volts across this resistor. So we have about three milliamps of current flowing right now. So I did a couple of videos on that, as I said. I'll try to remember to link them in the description so that you can watch them. Now this is a 220 ohm resistor. So it's about one fourth. Well, we'll make the math easy. One fourth the resistance. So since it's lower resistance, you have more current. About four times the current to be exact. So there's about 12 milliamps of current going through here. And uh, probably just a tiny bit more, but about 12 milliamps. Anyways, it's brighter. That's the main takeaway. So let's get to the light dependent resistor. We are going to uh, move this resistor over because the light dependent resistor does not always have enough resistance to safely limit current from a 5 volt power supply. So we have the resistor still going to the LED. We're going to put the light dependent resistor in series. So hopefully you can still see those connections. So I just plugged it. Nope, I was one row off. That's why the LED didn't light up at all. And uh, so it's to the positive rail, to the resistor, and then the resistor goes to the LED. So now we have the resistance of both the fixed resistor and the light dependent resistor. But if I put my finger over the light dependent resistor, you see the LED gets dark. That's because this light dependent resistor and all the ones that I've come across, they have increased resistance when it is dark. And this goes to definitely the tens of millions of ohms. That's as far as my one meter could read and it, it might get up to close to infinity ohms. But uh, in any case, it gets higher resistance when it gets darker. And uh, light was going through my finger, so now it's even darker, but the camera won't really pick that up. So in any case, we got it really dark. Now, this light's not super bright, and so uh, I think we have a little less resistance total between the two of them than this one right here, the one kilo ohm right there. I'm guessing there's about 600 ohms of resistance through the light dependent resistor. But you notice when I get my headlamp on there, now you can see the uh, resistor being protected by both the light dependent resistor and the 220 ohm resistor more than the uh, one kilo ohm resistor. So I think I probably got down to about 30, 40 ohms of resistance for the light dependent resistor one plus the 220 ohms of that one. So that's all there is to that component. This particular circuit uh, isn't useful for a whole lot. We can improve it a little bit. I might do that in the next video or an upcoming video. But uh, for the most part, I just wanted to demonstrate exactly what the light dependent resistor does. You'll read about it a lot. And uh, this is a simple demonstration that I think illustrates it really well. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.